Hey there, I'm John McConnell of John McConnell Yoga, and uh, I'm back up at uh, Sandbar State Park in Vermont, which is awesome. It's so beautiful here today. And um, first, I want to thank some people who've contacted me since the last video, which I always really, it's nice, you know, I'm making these videos, but it's nice to know somebody's out there <laughs> watching, because I'm imagining there's somebody there, but you know, maybe that's just in my mind. So uh, a couple people, Arlie in Vermont, uh, liked me on Facebook. I have a Facebook page, um, which is, I think, Facebook slash John McConnell Yoga. And then uh, Leela in Mexico, uh, Mark in Vermont, and Amanda in Maine. And also, uh, you can subscribe to my website. And when you do that, you get a... Um, a mug that I've made that says breathe on it, which is very cool. And so a couple of people did that, which is really nice. Uh, Victoria on Long Island and Amanda, the same Amanda in Maine, uh, did a subscription. So sending both of them a mug for that. So I really appreciate that. So, um, so anyway, right now there's uh, the Olympics are going on in um, London and watch the opening ceremony. It was really amazing. It was great. But um, I love the Olympics. <laughs> and I, uh, the thing I realize that I love about the Olympics is kind of a similar thing um, that I like about yoga, really. And it's the ability to see people um, focus so intently and be so present. Like there's... Um, I don't know, there's something really inspiring about that kind of presence and like focus and awareness, like in uh, the possibility of danger, like doing gymnastics or, or diving or just um, just intense focus just for the sport. Like I was watching, um, I think it was, I wrote it down somewhere. I forget where I wrote it down. Uh, it was um, air like a rifle and gun air, um, <laughs> air guns, <laughs> never seen them before, but they're, uh, it's like shooting, but with air instead of a pellet, I guess. And these people are intense. Like it's 10 meters that they're shooting from and you should totally check it out, like a replay of their, um, their shooting because they showed all the people who were shooting and they kind of do it all at the same time. It's an interesting setup. But um, each one, when they're not shooting, they just have their eyes closed and they're breathing and concentrating and trying to relax and focus. Like it's all about um, being really calm and centered, you know, for that particular sport. So it's just really cool to like see these people basically doing yoga before, uh, before they do their Olympic thing. And another thing I saw in the, um, maybe you saw this too, during the initial opening uh, preliminary trials for gymnastics, the U.S. on high bar, the U.S. guy and the Chinese guy both um, had these amazing twisting, release, re re-catch the bar thing, which is like mind-blowing. And so they both missed and like landed on the mat whatever, 15 feet below. And um, how it works is if you miss, then you have 30 seconds to like get it together and get back on the high bar. And the other thing is if you miss that um, particular like thing you were doing, it doesn't count. So you have to do it again if you want to get, get credit for it. So these guys, just imagine this, like you're doing this multi-twist thing you miss, you fall on your face, you have 30 seconds, and you have to do it again. <laughs> so uh, they both did it again, it looked beautiful. And um, so to me, that's like, to, to be able to do something like that, to be able to do something where clearly it's gotta hurt, and it's gotta mess with your mind, and in a matter of 30 seconds, that doesn't exist anymore, and you're right here, right now, in this present moment, and you can nail it. Like, that's inspiring. And so um, it uh, brings me to uh, this poem I'm going to read today, and also the idea in practice of 
you know, there can be all kinds of things that happen. Like maybe they happen just a moment before. Maybe that they've happened in your life, like heavy things or, um, you know, things that you don't want to think about or move on from. And, you know, what the Olympics teach teach is um, that you just have to get to this moment, like, and move forward from it. You can't, you can't redo that crazy twist. Like, all you can do is try again, you know, which is pretty great. It's like great life lessons. And so this poem is by uh, Rumi, and it's called uh, The Tent. And you can think of it in terms of, like, that idea that, like, outside there's all these things that happen, and maybe they just happened, but inside yourself you have to be steady and calm and quiet. So here we go. Uh, The tent. Outside the freezing desert night, this other night inside grows warm kindling. Let the landscape be covered with thorny crust. We have a soft garden in here. The continents blasted, cities and little towns, everything become a scorched blackened ball. The news we hear is full of grief for that future, but the real news inside here is there's no news at all. So I just love the idea that um, there's no news in here. You know, it's like, yeah, it's just so relatable. It's like, yeah, there's this, there's moments that can be like so intense, but you realize you just got to get over them to move on with your life. And you got to get to that place to, yeah, there's stuff outside that I need to move on from. And I need to go inside myself and see that really inside myself, when you get right down to it, Like you can always find a calm and always a present moment. So as we practice today, uh, I just invite you to, you know, use each moment of the practice as an opportunity for a present moment. And so your mind needs to move with your practice. So as the practice moves ahead, you need to be in that moment. So it's easy to be like, you know, you do some downward dog or do some kind of something and you, you hold on to it, but your mind moves ahead, you know, like you hold on to it but your body moves ahead and like you're three, three uh, postures down the line, but you're still thinking about the one way back there. Like, how's that going to work? So uh, just really practice being in the present and um, I guarantee it makes for a better practice. Okay. So uh, find a comfortable seat with your uh, eyes closed. And turn your awareness um, first to uh, gratitudes. Like I love to begin with being grateful for what you have. And um, it isn't necessarily grateful for that you have a great apartment, (laughs) which, you know, you can be grateful for that too. But um, grateful for what you really have. So we'll take a few breaths and just come up with like a half dozen things that today comes to mind. They don't have to be huge, really, but just comes to mind today that you really appreciate that are in your life. All right, thank you for doing that. And bring your palms together at your heart center. And we'll go ahead and chant the sound of Om one time. Take a full exhale. A deep, sweet inhale. your hands, open your eyes, and let's come over onto our hands and knees. And just line up the creases of your wrists to um, the edge of your mat and look back at your knees, have your knees under your, um, under your hips. And take a couple breaths here and really just allow yourself to be here. And not looking forward to 
thinking about what's coming coming up next or looking back to um, what's happened before, like what's happened when, when I was um, transitioning to here, um, what happened before, before you started this class. Just see if you can really fully be uh, in this moment, aware in this moment. And you can find some awareness to your breath, you know, to help you do that. Okay, and then start moving with your breath. So on the inhale, just let the pelvis uh, rock forward, the chest fall and the head rise. And exhale, scoop the tailbone, curl the back and drop the head. And just move back and forth in this way, arching and curling in the back. Really enjoy the movement, enjoy the breath. Have that sense of every moment is this moment. You know, I, I like the uh, imagery of like, you know, the practice is moving at one rate and your mind is moving at another rate and you need to sort of try to sync those up. So your mind is moving right along with the practice and your awareness is really as narrow and pinpointed as possible. You know, like, I just love that thing of like, you can't hold on to, you can't hold on to either one. You can't hold on to you just did great on the, uh, high beam and you can't hold on that you did really bad either because either way you could mess up what's up next you know <laughs> or what's up right now it's a great lesson so just curl the toes under we'll go back to downward dog so bend the knees rock the pelvis forward so your butt goes high and then reach the hips back long through the sides of the ribs be present here in this posture and, you know, the thing that's a little bit, bit different <laughs> about the Olympics and yoga is that in yoga, you really need to be aware of any kind of pain. You know, I think in the Olympics, it's like, okay, we got to work through this. This is the Olympics, the finals. In yoga, it's like, well, if you have a little pain or it doesn't feel quite right, you don't have to do it. And that's actually better. That actually gets you the gold <laughs> in the Olympics more than powering through it, you know. All right, walk forward and come into forward fold. <laughs> Inhale, come all the way up, raise the hands high, reach tall. And exhale yourself all the way back down. Bring the right leg back to a lunge and just be present with this posture. You know, I like going a little slower. You might recognize that just because you can really uh, get awareness of what's happening when you go a little bit slower. Sometimes I like to go faster in classes and stuff, for sure. But here it's like, oh, okay, what's happening? And how can I get more deeply into my posture? So lift the hips and broaden a little bit through the hips. And then you want to scoop the tailbone. And the feeling there is the lengthening of the low back, engagement of the core muscles. Reach the head a little bit forward. Find that sense of like this moment is the moment. And you can actually keep those, uh, what's happening there, and inch the back foot back a little bit and then lower down. And let's keep lowering all the way down. So lower the back knee down to the floor and raise your hands up to your front knee. So here that back thigh is still reaching back. So broad through the low back and then raise your hands up. And because the back knee's on the mat, you can lunge a little bit deeper forward into the front thigh. Otherwise, you don't want your knee in front of your ankle. And just be present here. And it feels like, for me anyway, it feels really good to just be in the present moment. I get a little crazy when I'm scattered. Okay, lower the hands down. Lift that back leg up. And we'll just go ahead and come back forward into forward fold. And no matter what that posture was like, see if you can just be here right now in this forward fold. It's like you're just letting the body move at the same pace as the mind. You know, whether you liked it or not, whether you fell off the high bar or not, you still got to get keep going. Got to finish the routine, you know. <laughs> All right, left leg back. High lunge. 
Again, lift the back thigh up, broaden through the hips, and a little scoop in the tailbone. Just gauge in the core, and then lengthen a little bit forward through the crown of the head. Steadiness in the breath. Be present with where you're at. You know, if you're practicing, you know, you're on a mat, possibly, somewhere. Wherever it is, whether it's outside here, some beautiful place, or in your apartment, or your house, or whatever. See if you can really make that, this feeling of being a sanctuary. Like here you are, you're practicing, uh, you're in this moment, doesn't matter. There's that storm outside the tent, you know, and you're inside, safe. Okay, so lower your back knee down, hands on your front knee, and have that back thigh lifting back, scoop the tailbone a little bit, raise the hands. And one way to think of that whole room, roomy poem of the tent is like, it's like you're choosing, <laughs> you know? You could choose to be in the turmoil that's all around you, or you can choose to be inside and be in the present moment. Like, it's actually a choice. Okay, lower the hands down, and we'll go back to Downward Dog. Once again, be present in this Downward Dog. Bend the knees, tops of the thighs back. Broad through the low back, straighten the legs. And then inhale, glide forward to plank. So strong arms, roll toward the tips of your toes, and lower down from here, real slow. Point the toes. Push down with the knees slightly, and so the hips are gonna lift up and then broaden through the hips. Scoop the tailbone, and then lift the chest. So the thing about the practice, you know, the reason you wanna be in the present moment is it's all about connecting to your own light, your own happiness. So, you know, the practice should feel good in the end. A couple of breaths here, just feeling a nice broad brightness through the heart, and at the same time broad through the low back. Tops of the thighs are a little lifted. All that stuff helps you to find the moment. Okay, so curl the toes under, go back to Downward Dog. Reaching back nice and long. And let's bring the right foot forward and move ourselves up to warrior two feet, but have your hands on your hips. So um, look back towards your back foot and have it parallel to the back of the mat. And then the arch, the heel of the front foot, like goes right through the arch of the back foot. And then back your back foot back a little more until it feels like you're good, okay? Then lean forward, stick your butt back behind you and feel your inner thighs get heavy and reach back, broaden through the hips. Keep that broadness and then scoop the tailbone under you, particularly the top of this back thigh. Keep it back as you scoop the tailbone under. And then reach your hands out and look over your front fingers. Be present with this posture. Steady in your breath here. Real calm eyes. Look at those um, air gun people. They had really calm eyes. They were just so relaxed in their eyes and so focused. It's just, it's also inspiring. <laughs> so many lessons. You know, they were finding that place inside, that calm place. Their mind could have been a, diff a million different places, but they were really focused on just being in that place right then. Okay, hands to the hips, straighten the legs, and we'll just turn to the back of the mat. So first, uh, line up the heel to the arch. Can inch the foot back a little. Lean forward, broaden through the hips, and scoop the tailbone under you. Keep the top of the back thigh back as you reach the hands up and look over the front fingers. <coughs> Steady breath. 
calm eyes, present moment. Really see how, how much you can be exactly where you are with your body and your mind. In the same place, same breath. Okay, great. Hands to the hips. Straighten the leg. And we'll come back to the front of the mat. Good. <laughs> Inhale, raise the hands high. Reach tall and then turn the palms forward. Curl forward a little bit in your upper back, bend the knees, and the tops of the thighs go back. Then scoop the tailbone and get long through the low back. And straighten the legs and start to curl back your upper back. So the upper arms are moving back. Heart's lifted. Straighten your arms as best you can. Feel the sweetness of the posture. Be totally present with the posture here. Keep working length through the neck. Bright heart, real steady. Come back to center, reach high, and then exhale, fold forward all the way down. And we'll work ourselves back to downward dog. <coughs> Maybe bicycle the legs a little. Oops, bicycle the legs a little bit. <coughs> Bend the knees, tops of the thighs go back. Okay, and then raise the right leg up. So three-legged dog. And bend that right knee and stack your hips. So bring the right knee way over. Try to keep the, the shoulders level and then see if you can see your foot. <laughs> like you can, might be able to see it under the armpit, over the armpit. But just get open in that quad. Really think about like reaching the leg over to get the quad stretch. Okay, back to center. Good, forget about that posture. <laughs> Here we are, back in this moment. <laughs> Other side, raise the leg up. Bend the knee and stack the hips. So bring the foot over. Try to keep the shoulders level, which is a little hard. But get open, try to get open in that quad. Breathe. Okay, come back to center. Again, just be right here, right now. Okay, inhale, glide forward to plank. And exhale yourself all the way down. Point the toes. Lift your heart. And back to downward dog. <clears throat> okay, then right foot forward into a lunge. <clears throat> and lower your back knee down. And then we're going to straighten the right leg and fold over the straight right leg. So the, the heel's pushing more forward. The toes are pulling back. Nice fold. So every inhale, lengthen from your hips out through the crown of the head and nice exhale fold from your heart. So it's real, real easy going. Be present with it. Like I said, you know, in yoga you want to be super present so you can know what's going on. So you can make little adjustments like, okay, right in this moment, that's a little intense. I can back off, you know. It's very focused on what's happening right now. It's really like this little vacation. Every moment, every second, it's like a vacation. Okay, slowly come up, and then what we're going to do is bend that front foot, have the hands on the front knee, and then bend the back foot and reach for the foot with your... So I have my right foot forward, so reach back with your left hand. And here on the ground, it's pretty soft on my knee, but I know on the floor it can be a little harder. So if it is, pad your knee and then raise your right hand up. So bring the foot close to your butt. That top of that back thigh is reaching back towards your heel. Scoop the tailbone and then move the hips and the heel forward. Like the front knee, the hip and the back heel move forward together. It can get pretty intense. Breathe. Just be where you're at. Breathe into that stretch. Okay, good. Release that. Okay, straighten the front leg, just like we did before, but then inch the foot forward 
pulling the heel back and push out through the through I mean push pull the toes back push through the heel and then curl the back toes under and lift your back knee so here my right hip which is my my front hip think about reaching that back towards your back um, heel and then my left hip right which is for my back leg that left hip reach forward toward my front big toe so it just squares out the hips a little keep breathing be in the moment okay slowly bring the knee back real slow and we'll go, go back to table take a breath we'll do the other side so straighten that leg the knee is under the hip and fold over your straight left leg and again right here right now this is the moment this is where we're at so be present with this side enjoy the your breathing enjoy the stretch and have some uh, some real awareness of of the stretch you know where you feel it enjoy it <laughs> That's the thing, I, I guess, you know, that's one of the things that's so sweet about yoga. It just asks you to be with yourself and be present with yourself. Like it's hard not to feel good. Because in the pre present moment, you see yourself as you are, which is a really happy, good person, you know. Okay, so bend the front foot. And have the uh, hands on the front knee. And then uh, reach the back foot up. Reach for that with your right hand. Raise your left hand up. Steady. And then lunge a little deeper. So the knee goes over the toes. The foot comes along with the, with the butt. Heart lifts. Steady here. Really be in this moment. Not looking ahead. Not looking back, just enjoying this particular breath, this particular time, and then you move on with the next breath and the next breath. Okay, release that. Okay, and then straighten the front leg, pull the toes back, push out through the heel, curl the back toes under. If you can, lift the back knee up, because that, that makes for a more exciting stretch. So keep moving the, the my, left he, my left hip goes back, right hip more forward, and then deepen from there. It's intense, no question about it. But just be with the breath. Focus the mind. Okay, cool. Lower the back knee. Bring that front foot back. Back to a table position. Let's widen the knees. We'll settle the hips back on the heels. Reach the hands forward so you get more length through the spine, and then you can lower your forehead to the floor. And in that position of the forehead on the floor, the arms reaching forward, really breathe space into your, into your body here. All right, good. Slowly come up. We'll go back to downward dog. And look forward to the hands. Walk the feet forward. Forward fold. And hands to the hips. Come all the way up. Good. <laughs> okay, so let's bring the... Actually, let's do a tree pose, which will be good. So be steady in the right leg. And take your uh, left, left foot up and place it on your thigh. And then hands to your heart. 
and be steady here. So be in this moment. Like one of the things about balancing that I see as a teacher is I can see uh, like people get really confident and then they fall over. <laughs> like it's just this thing of, of it doesn't matter. Like if you lose your present moment because of because you're feeling uh, too good about something that just happened or you're feeling too bad about something that just happens, you know, that it's the same result, right? So you just have to kind of keep moving forward, keep enjoying that this moment is great, you know, get the most out of this moment. Mm -hmm. And then raise your hands high, bright in your heart. Steady and focused on uh, this breath right here. Okay, lower your hands and lower your foot. We got to do the other side. So raise the um, left leg up. I think that's what we're doing here. Hands to your hips. Just do the other side, whatever, whatever side you did on the first side. Don't do that one again. <laughs> hands to the heart. Nice steady breathing. Have that sense of really calming yourself. Like the, the air gun shooters you the scene. They're just like calming their mind, relaxing the mind. Okay, and then you can raise your hands. Present with your breathing. Okay, good. Release the foot, release the hands, come to the front of the mat. Good. Raise the hands high. Nice exhale, fold forward. <clears throat> Let's go back to downward dog. Bend the knees, reach the hips back from the hands. Nice and long. And then walk yourself forward. We'll come all the way to a seat here. And bring the um, left foot into the right thigh. Face the right thigh and fold forward. And you can take the left hand to the outside of the little toe side of the foot, if that feels okay, because that, that helps to get a little bit more of a twist. And then on the inhale, you lengthen, exhale, fold a little deeper. really present with each breath. And naturally, you know, on the inhale, it's this natural lengthening breath. So lengthen on the inhale. And when the exhale comes, naturally fold from your heart. Enjoy this moment where you are Okay, and come up, and we get to switch sides. Face the straight leg and fold. So maybe the opposite hand comes outside the, the foot. That can help a little bit to get a little deeper into it. You know, and again, you know, if, um, if you're unaware of what's happening in your stretch, in your practice, then you can hurt yourself and then you don't get to practice, you know, the next time you want to practice. You know, so it's, it's important to take care every single time, be focused every time on what's going on. And not only is that safe, but also you learn about yourself you get to experience present moment awareness, which feels really good. Okay, good. Come up. 
And then we're going to bring the uh, right leg parallel to the front of the mat and place the left leg over the top of it. So you're stacking your lower legs. Place your hands on the soles of your feet and push out a little bit so the big toes push out toward the sides and the little toes pulled under you a little. And then place your hands in a nice forward fold. So be aware of where the stretch is at, breathe. Present with the fullness of the breath, like um, every part of your breathing, every part of your practice, every instant. It's just such a nice practice to experience what that's like, you know. And that's what yoga is about. It's not like, like you can be in the present moment every moment of the day. Like, you just can't do that. <laughs> but you can practice on the yoga mat doing that. And then when you really need it, you can really be like, wow, that feels good to do that. I'm going to really try to do that right now, you know. All right, come up. And we got to switch sides. Fold forward. You know, and the thing, uh, the thing about being present is you don't even compare sides. You don't think, well, on, on that side, I was really flexible in my hips, so this side I have to be just as flexible. It's like, well, that's not, that isn't present, wear in a mo wear mo present uh, moment awareness. You know, that's comparing side to side. So this side's unique. So treat it that way. Whatever it offers, great. Okay, slowly come up, good. And then uh, bend at the, the knees and open the knees wide and then hold on to your big toes. Lean back and then extend your legs up. Fun posture, nice balancing posture. So think of the th tops of the thighs reaching away from your stomach. Heart reaching forward and up, almost a little back bend. And just find steadiness here. So sometimes, you know, if you're not used to this, Sometimes you might fall backwards, which is fun. <laughs> it's okay to fall backwards. If that happens, just get back up, sit up here. No problem. Okay, and then uh, keep the knees wide, but bring the soles of the feet together. Hold on to your feet. Sit tall from your heart and then fold forward from your heart. <clears throat> On the inhales, there's a bit, bit, bit of length. And exhale, reaching your heart towards your feet. All right, good. Nice. Let's lay down onto our back. And here, present awareness. Just be with this, this place, laying on your back right now. Enjoy how nice it is to just lay down. And then bring your right foot across your left knee Go ahead and bring that left thigh in towards your chest. Interlace the fingers behind the thigh. And then reach your right knee more away from your chest as the left thigh comes towards your chest. Getting a nice uh, stretch there. Really be aware of where the stretch is. Be present with it. A steady breathing. Okay, and switch sides. So you're going to lace the fingers behind the right thigh. Left knee moves more forward. 
steady breathing here. Present with this, this posture, this stretch, as best you can, not looking forward or back, but just being right here. Okay, release that, and place the feet flat, and then open the knees wide so the soles of the feet come together. Open through your inner thighs. nice, real nice opening. Just really enjoy that. And then take your time whenever you um, feel like it's a good time for you. Straighten your legs out and come into the final posture of Shavasana. So the palms are faced up, face up. Legs are straight, proud hips distance away, apart from each other. Take these first few breaths to really you know, bring focus, awareness to like, okay, breathe, relax, let go. And then after a couple of breaths, just let that go and enjoy this final posture. And then we'll come out of it in just a, a little while. So really take advantage. So real slow, allow your breath to deepen. And then find some movement in your fingers, a little bit in your toes. You can stretch your arms up over your head. Good, and then roll over to your right side. Bring the knees in comfortably. So real nice, comfortable fetal position on your side here. And take your time, come up to a seat, and sit with your eyes closed. And bring your palms together at your heart center, and again, just um, really be present with this moment. This posture is very powerful, it's very connected, it's like this it's like you're plugging yourself into yourself. So really be present with the energy of this posture. 
how you feel in this moment. Really savor it. And let's go ahead and chant the sound of Om together one time. Take a full exhale. A deep, sweet inhale. Oh. Namaste. Thank you so much. Have a great day.